Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Franny and today I'm going to share with you my October spooky temptative <laughs> TBR. This being a TBR video means I haven't read these books of course and I like going into books not knowing way too much but just the basic info that I need to know that I might like it, that I might be interested in reading it. So I'm just gonna tell you the books that I think I might want to read this month. I don't think I'll get to all of them because time is a limited resource, <laughs> which basically means I won't be able to tell you much about the plot, nor do I want to. So if what I tell you about each book captures your interest, then you can go and research and find out more and see if it's something that you would like to read if you haven't read it yet. I'm going to kind of split this video into two different parts just because it helps my brain function better. In the first one, I'm going to show you the books that I would like to read in physical format or as ebooks and in the second part I'm going to tell you about the audiobooks that I would like to listen to this month. I don't know if this helps you out as well but to me it means that I've already sampled the audiobooks and I really loved or really liked the narrators. They gave me a good vibe so that's the format in which I want to experience those books. So first up, and this one I need to read because it has a too long title, is Your Guide to Not Getting Murdered in a Quaint English Village by Maureen Johnson and illustrated by Jay Cooper. And all I know about this book is that it's a guide, kind of a nonfiction book, illustrated. It's supposed to be funny and quirky and it's nonfiction, it's for fans and lovers of mysteries and true crime and all that stuff so I honestly cannot wait and I mean it's 100 pages and it's illustrated so it's going to be a pretty quick read. I think I can do this. Then I have Darklyn by Brooklyn Ray and this is the first book in the Port Louis Witches series. This is a series of short novellas that takes place in this small tiny cozy town that has kind of like Gilmore Girl vibes, but the main character is a witch and he is gay and he finds himself dealing with some like paranormal shenanigans going down that also I think might have to deal with his crush. It's an explicit um, novella, so it should have paranormal content as well as some sexy content which makes my heart, my gay heart, very happy. Next one is another queer paranormal book, so there's kind of a, a theme, a vibe going on this month which I absolutely adore. This book is A Lesson Inventions by Victoria Lee. I've heard nothing but great amazing things about this book. It's supposed to be Dark Academia, it takes place at a campus and the main character whose name is Felicity has lost her girlfriend recently and when she goes back to this campus to graduate she meets someone who's also a writer and this new girl wants to write a book about the campus's history that is interwoven with with witch's history and I'm guessing these two girls are gonna have to deal with something that's gonna go down and I'm here for it. I just love the vibe and I've heard amazing things so I, I honestly cannot wait to read it. Then I have a graphic novel and it is I Kill Giants by Joe Kelly and Ken Nimura. I don't know much about this graphic novel. I know that they've made a movie adaptation from this and the main character is a girl that hunts and kills giants and whether that is real or a metaphor for traumas and other things that she's had to deal with in her past that's I think up for debate. I think it's up for a double interpretation but I'm excited and I cannot wait. I really like the black and white art style. I think it's really nice and also kind of scary and stuff so I think it's going to be 
um, an interesting read for this month and I cannot wait. I might also watch the movie after reading this graphic novel. That's something that might happen. Now onto the audiobooks. I have so many planned. I wish I had the time to listen to all of them because I think they would be perfect for the spooky season. The first one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I actually started listening to this audiobook today, but I listened to like the first 30 minutes or something, so it's still really early. <laughs> to tell where it's gonna go. But basically from what I've understood so far, our main protagonist, Pippa Fitz Amovi, for her final senior high school research project, she decides to investigate a crime that happened five years prior where a girl went missing, the body was never found, but at the same time, like a few days after this girl went missing, they found the body of a guy who they suspected could be responsible for her murder and he had killed himself in the woods and it was kind of taken as a confession so he was found guilty and the girl's body was never found and Pippa doesn't think that that boy was responsible for the murder so she wants to investigate. She doesn't necessarily think she'll find out who the murderer is if there is a murder, if a murder actually happened, but she kind of wants to try and find out more or less what happened, what's the real story behind those um, tragedies. It seems interesting so far, but as I've said, I'm at the very beginning, so it's too soon to tell. But if I like it, I plan on reading the second and perhaps even the third book in this series of companion novels. And there's also a tiny novella prequel that comes before the book that I'm listening to right now that is called Kill Joy. And so I just want to dive in um, in this world, in this story that Holly Jackson created, kind of like I did for the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. So yeah, I just kind of want to have that experience and just read through the whole thing and just completely immerse myself in that story, in that world. Another book that I would like to listen to, both for nostalgic reasons and for um, curiosity and also for a feeling that years later I might appreciate it more. And I'm talking about The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. This book came out way back when, <laughs> in 2013. I remember buying the hardcover. I might still have it here somewhere, actually. Should I go get it? Let me go get it. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I have the hardcover, which is just absolutely gorgeous. It's velvety, it feels, it feels so nice to the touch, you guys. It's just, ha, ah, I love it. I have the hardcover because I found it for very cheap on Better World Books, which is a secondhand online bookstore that ships internationally. And I found it and I was like, okay, just, I have to get it for nostalgic reasons, purely nostalgic reasons. This has vampires. It is set in a world where there are walled up cities called cold towns. Normal people, they can't go in because, I mean, they can go in, but once they go in, they can never leave, I'm guessing because they're turned into vampires or something. I don't know much else about it. I've been wanting to read it for a while. It's been a few years where I'm like, okay, maybe during October I could pick it up and give it another try because I remember picking it up when it came out in 2013 and I had started it and for whatever reason, I never finished it. But I think that now I might be able to appreciate it more. I think it might be a valid book and maybe it was just the right book at the wrong time or something like that. So I want to give it a try and I found a sample of the audiobook. I loved the narrator so I wouldn't mind at all listening to the audiobook and see what I think. Hopefully I'll get around to it this year. I have so many more that I want to listen to you guys. The next one is Fortune Favors the Dead by Stephen Spotswood. I don't know much about this book. I know that Kathy, I will leave the link um, to her channel in the description down below. She's awesome. She reads so many books. She listens to so many audiobooks and most of them are LGBT plus. So I just, I just love her and her channel. She talked about this book and immediately caught my eye and I'm like, okay, let me check it out. The audiobook sounds amazing. I listened to the sample and 
I think it has the right vibe that I might like. It's set in 1924 in New York. It is set around or after Halloween, so just the time period and the place just they are speaking to my heart in every possible way. It has diverse rap and it's sapphic. There is a mystery, there is a crime and murder of some kind and there is an investigation going on and I just... I, I don't need to know anything else. That's what I need to know. I think that Kathy also said that there was like a good banter or a good dialogue which, you know, like... I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm so here for it. It's just, it's happening, okay? And another one that I would like to listen to is The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gold. Again, this is Suffolk. It's a YA book. There's a mystery going on. I'll just read you like the very beginning of the synopsis because I think that it gives you the idea of what this book is going to be like. It says, something is wrong in Snakebite, Oregon. Teenagers are disappearing, some turning up dead, the weather isn't normal, and all fingers point to TV's most popular ghost hunters who have just come to town. And I think that these ghost hunters are the parents of the main character, and she has two dads. So, like, what are we talking about here, okay? Like, two dads, suffolk romance, and ghost hunting, a small town, just after my own heart. That's all I gotta say. The last one, and just prepare yourself, because this is the best thing that you're gonna hear today. I I'm telling you, please let me know if I'm wrong or right, but I am going to be right, so let me know that I'm right. Um, the next one is Payback's a Witch by Lana Harper. So let's just... the title. Okay, we can move on. I don't want to say anything not to spoil you or ruin the surprise or whatever. This is the marketing line for this book, okay? Chilling Adventures of Sabrina meets the L word in this fresh, sizzling rom-com by Lana Harper. Sabrina meets the L word. What are we even talking about here, okay? So like, just just okay i actually have a bonus a bonus book um to add to this tbr because i had forgotten about it but when i went to get the coldest girl in cold town i saw it and i was like oh fuck i have this book and it's perfect for the season and now i want to read it um but i'm talking about the meddling kids by um edgar cantero and again i got this from better world books so it's a second hand um book as as you can see let me just let me just read you again what it says here it is set in the summer of 1977 and then also later in 1990 and let me just let me just read it to you with raucous humor and brilliantly orchestrated mayhem, meddling kids subverts teen detective archetypes like the Hardy Boys, the Famous Five, and Scooby-Doo and delivers an exuberant and wickedly entertaining celebration of horror, love, friendship, and many tentacled interdimensional demons spawn. <laughs> what in the world are we even talking about here? I just... I just... I love everything about this, honestly, and now I want to read it. I, I might start it right away because I'm just, I'm just feeling in the mood. I'm feeling in the mystery mood and the horror mood and, I mean, not horror because I'm, I'm a chicken. I want to read this. I can't wait. I feel like this TBR video just started here and then it just went downhill and now it needs to end before um, I look even more like, I don't know, I'm, I'm drunk or something. So, these are the books that I would like to read this month. I will never ever get to all of these because again time <laughs> so funny um but yeah i will try my best and let me know in the comments what you think i should start with or what books i should give priority to uh, if you have read any of them if you would like to as always just let me know in the comments because you know that i love talking to you and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed please like subscribe if you haven't social me social me <laughs> social me please make me become more social 
follow me on the social media if you want to just I don't know chat about books or life or whatever and I wish you all a very spooky chilly creepy spooky season I said spooky twice but I don't care because it's my channel and I do whatever I want and I love the adjective spooky isn't it just awesome it's kind of perfect and I'll see you soon <laughs> with another hopefully less rambly and more coherent and put together video. Warm hugs. <laughs>